Good morning, friends. Steve Benin with Israeli News Live. And uh, listen, I, we, we have got yet another asteroid not being detected by NASA. And of course, NASA is saying that it's coming out of the direction of the sun. And here we have right here, this is uh, reported by bbc.co.uk. Earth has had a near miss with a car-sized asteroid that wasn't spotted by NASA. The space rock, space rock came as close as 100, excuse me, 1,830 miles to the planet, which is the closest recorded close shave Earth has ever had with an asteroid. But there's no need to worry, they say. Had it entered Earth's atmosphere, its size, uh, its size would have been seen. It burn up so significantly that any remaining pieces probably would have been, wouldn't have been dangerous. You know, guys, listen. There's a lot of different people out there that have been talking about these things, and I've even been uh, criticized by some uh, for speaking about our intel that has been sharing with us that uh, we're going to get hit by these rocks very soon. As I was told, we are entering into a cloud of debris by a Pentagon source there. And of course, the way it was described to me is that uh, as our planet is moving through the universe along with the sun, etc. We're actually going in that particular direction. We enter into it. So it sound, if, if I'm understanding right, and of course I did send an email to try to get a, a confirmation on this, everything would be coming from the direction of the sun and thus why NASA would probably not see most of it in the first place. Uh, could be wrong on that. Uh, I know that Especially in this field here, you got a lot of debate among those people that are tracking Planet X. Uh, I've seen those debates out there. Uh, and I am no uh, astronomer by no means. My uh, job is with Intel. And so what I'm trying to do is try to help you to understand what they do know. And as I've shared with you already, uh, how that uh, this, this cloud debris was discovered. Uh, I know we have the trolls, so unfortunately, from the Flat Earth community, we can't even do comments because of this. It's really annoying. But um, I wanted to let you know, regardless of the different opinions out there, there's a lot of things that NASA is not seeing, especially when it's coming from the direction of the sun. And there's a lot of things that they're not going to tell you, even if they did know it. Because most people that are tracking these things, uh, they're tracking what NASA's already talking about that's coming. Uh, so I highly doubt that these people are tracking thousands of different uh, debris in a debris field uh, that has not been already recorded by one of these agencies in the first place. So keep that in mind, guys. I mean, this, this is something you're not thinking about. And uh, all we're trying to do is to inform you from the information that we're given, whether it be our uh, FEMA engineer, whether it be him, or whether it be our, our uh, White House uh, uh, White House advisor to the president, whether it be uh, Pentagon sources that we have, these things are very serious. Also, let me uh, say as well that um, there's something I was going to tell you, and I forgot what it was now. Uh, but, but oh, yeah, yes, I know what it was now. Uh, another thing that's that's on my mind because of these incoming this incoming debris that they're aware of that they're not uh, telling you. Uh, in fact, I was actually told originally that there would there there would only be an internal disclosure uh, two weeks for the people in the government, et cetera, and uh, for them to get into their safe places that they have prepared for them, but publicly only 24 to 48 hour notice. This was what was told to me from the very beginning. And as a result of that, I have really been considering this whole issue of the left-right paradigm that they're playing you guys on. Uh, oh, there's coming big arrest with the Democrats and stuff and the pedophile rings and things of that nature. And and even Miss Miley, when she was uh, arrested the other day, uh, it's a little bit surprising to me, her reaction, uh, because I've seen a lot of people arrested in my life, and especially with women. And it's normally a, a meltdown. Uh, when that happens, because they're not anticipating that. So it's a little bit interesting to see that. And it's almost like it's left and right being pitted against one another. But getting back to this idea of these arrest of these pedophile rings, etc., that would be a very good cover 
for all these elite politicians to be able to take be taken underground uh, to their safe places to where the public would think that it was because they were all arrested when in reality it is not the case. So it's it's an objective observation I would like to put out there for people. This all may be fronted because they don't want you to know. Something to think about. Anyway, Stephen Benin with Israeli News Live. Uh, thank Johnny. Uh, Johnny.